Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. I love reading Indian Ashada Plus. I do a lot of those, so if you guys are into that kind of content, then make sure you subscribe to my channel because I love to have you guys here. And for today's video, I know it's been long overdue. I haven't done one in like three months. Three months because I really want to test out these palettes and also I keep procrastinating. I'm like, I'll do it next month, like in the two months, and then now it's three months past. So I have 13 palettes that I'm going to be ranking from worst to best. And I can't grab all of them, but yeah, I have a bunch of them right here. I'm going to be ranking these palettes from worst to best. So this is going to be based on my preference and also based on the palette overall, like on performance and, you know, how much I love it or if I don't love it. I love small indie brands that specialize in shimmers and also they take more time on their color stories. So this isn't surprising, but number 13 is the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. And this is a high-end or mainstream indie brand, so Natasha Denona. So I do love this palette. I do love it. The shimmers are so beautiful. They're so sparkly. So they are next level from what we've seen from Natasha Denona. And I hope she keeps up with the shimmers. So I know the color story overall, I love the color story. Like, it's so grungy. The yellows and the greenish, the mustard tones and... I really love the color story. The only thing, I do have to build up these shades to my liking. So they don't really... I mean, the pigmentation is okay, but I had to build them up more than I would like to. And I think the only shade I only had problem with, I think it was one of the cream to mattes. I forgot which one it was, but I think it was, maybe, I think it was that one. I don't think it's worth the 69. I think it's 69. I don't think it's worth full price. I think maybe if you're into the color story, and plus you get a lot of greenish looks and also similar looks too. Because the mattes are pretty similar. You can't get that many different looks. You could try to, but you have to love like green, yellowish. I love that she added this teal shade. Like, I really love this greenish shade. It's, it's pretty pigmented too, that one. But yeah, this palette <laughs> ranked the lowest in my palette ranking. So that's not surprising for me. But I love the shimmers in that one. But the next one up, number 12, this one's going to be Nomad Cosmetics Okavango Safari Palette. So this one was gifted to me by Nomad. And I'm really, really, really grateful all the time. I think the mattes are great. I've used it a few times. I think with the Yucca palette and this one, they pair so well together. I love the pigmentation with these mattes a lot more. The shimmers, they are a little bit sparkly, but not too much. And then the animal prints, they've been having a problem with their machines, I guess. They're pressing the shimmers too hard. So those are like more firmly pressed. I'm still able to use it, but it's like overall, I don't reach for this one a lot. I do love that it's like a nice earthy color story it's not just like two colors but it's like a variety of colors of oranges greens and then some browns so you get a good variety for a neutral palette so i do like that so so number 11 is going to be by Lita Cosmetics and this is the Wildflower palette. So this is my very first palette from Lita Cosmetics. So I purchased this one myself, but sorry. I always have to correct myself so it doesn't sound like that I got this gifted. But I wanted to try them out. They were one of the brands I really want to try out. There's still a few brands I would like to try out, but I'm trying not to buy as many palettes. I know, I mean, I still bought, I mean, I mean. I bought a good amount of palettes so far this year, but I'm trying not to like get into like newer brands. I this is like the first new brand to me from this year, and then there was another brand I want to introduce you guys later in this video. So this has a mix of dual crumbs and multi crumbs, and I do like them. They're more on the opaque side, and they're kind of glowy in the way, so they're pretty. So it's very unique in my collection. I don't got shimmers like these like they're very opaque and they do mention that they don't crease but they do a little bit i mean it's kind of rare to have shimmers there are sometimes shimmers that don't crease on me at all because i have deep creases right here like either it's just a very light crease but these do crease on me just not so badly but the shimmers i love the shimmers these are very wearable i actually took this on with me on vacation I don't really go on vacation that many. <laughs> I don't really go on vacation so many times. But the one time I did this year, I took this one. And it was just easy to use. The mattes, they're very, very soft. So I wish they're... I, I'm not too a fan of these two mattes. Just like in my video, like still, my opinions kind of stay true. And yeah, I wish they put like different mattes. Because these are not very flattery on my eyes. Maybe on lighter skin tones, it might look better on you. Maybe on darker skin tones, I think it might not even show up. So these are like pretty light. Like they're kind of dusty. So I'm still getting kind of getting used to the forms to this one. But I don't think the matte form is my favorite. I think the shimmers are pretty though. I thought this was going to rank higher. 
because you know I didn't give it such a good review I, ha I did two different looks uh, on my video but I've used this I think five times already and I mean I love it more after the trying out this palette some more but with my review I had like conflicting opinions like I did one look I wasn't too much of a fan of but the second look I loved it and then there was a few looks especially the blue look I created I haven't posted it but I shared on my Instagram story I did a blue look and I love the blue look I used that shimmer right here Sherblum such a beautiful shade like I love purple blue shifts it's so pretty I did um actually yesterday i did a look with the sprinkle shade the multi-chrome i'm still not like i know i swatched it i'm not too fan of the shift like it's a very smooth shift it's very opaque but that shade i actually did crease on my eyelid pretty pretty badly i would say like i had to like you know get my finger in just to like smooth it out basically so i don't know so it's not like so many times i could like use this shade so i will be more comfortable using this with the oranges or the purples but this one, it actually has a, like a nice green shift. I do like the green shift in it. So I was thinking maybe for another time, I'll probably play with the greens in that multi-chrome. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I thought this would rank higher. I thought this would rank higher considering that I love it more after my review. But it's just that there's so many palettes. That's why. But overall, the quality though, I forgot to mention. The quality in this one, it's so beginner friendly, very easy to use, caustic brushes. I have their two other palettes, the Serenity palette. That one's like really pigmented and dark. So I I mean, their formula is easy, but the their darker mess are really pigmented in that palette. And their Muse palette, that's my most favorite palette from the brand. But this one, very beginner friendly. It's very like the soft pastels. I even use a white base and they did stand out a little bit, but they're still in them. They're more on the soft side of the styles. Okay, now for the next one, it's going to be the Simply Posh Cosmetics. So this one was gifted to me. So I do have an affiliate code with them and it's Sashi. So if you guys decide to use it, then thank you guys so much. Um, I need to turn on the fan, you guys. So I had to turn on the fan, you guys. I'm like sweating, so I thought I could like just do this video. Sometimes I do it, but... I don't want to sweat. I know I mentioned my last video, I'm going to be having my fan on because I'm just tired of sweating with my makeup on. But yeah, I was talking about this one and this one was gifted to me and I love this one. So the mattes, all the mattes, I love all the mattes. They're, they're pigmented except these two. These are more on the light side, these two. But I love the formulation with their mattes, like all the mattes right here. They're so good, so easy to work with. And their shimmers, these are dual chrome. They're actually a little bit um, like hard pressed too. So I think, so yeah, Simply Polish is kind of having a problem with their machines too. So I'm not sure if it's like the same like like factory with the Nomad. So I don't know. It, may, it could be just coincidence, but that's what I'm thinking. But I'm so able to use these shimmers. They're really pretty. They're like, their style of dual chrome is like more like a sparkle shift, not like a very opaque shift, but it's so pretty against the brighter and bolder colors. So these duo chromes are on the light side and they're so pretty. So even though this color story is so wild and colorful and summery vibes, you could actually make this palette like really wearable. You could do monochromatic looks with this one. I just love the formulation. Like this one is so unique in my collection because of the, the colors. I don't have a lot of warm colors in my collection. I usually have a lot of like my favorite colors, like the cool colors, but there's not a lot of palette. I don't have a lot of palettes with these type of colors these warm summery colors so i really love this one so the next one's by blend buddy cosmetics it's the sugar and grunge palette so this one i didn't need this one i just got it because you know blend buddy is one of those brands i'm like really loyal to and i just wanted to support the brand and also i was kind of curious if i was gonna love this palette and i do love it so i didn't really need it i could probably kind of i mean with the other palettes i've seen comparison swatches they're all different like slight different tones so that's why i say you don't really need the palette if you have a bunch of blood buddy cosmetics palettes but this one was really nice i do like these two shimmers a lot and that shimmer those are my favorite shimmers and this one too but my top three were these three especially these two i know they're a little bit similar but they're so sparkly so they're just perfect just to add like a little pop on your eyes if you just want to do a simple look with the browns and the peaches i love playing with the peaches and the browns right here and then the teals too yeah i really love the dark shades especially that's my favorite part from the matte because you can really deepen up the look so i think overall this palette was nice i think the only shades i had problems with personally i probably had to play around with it more but i had 
I don't do a lot of red looks, so I only had problems with the reds and that shade actually. So those were the only shades, but overall this palette is good. And then the next palette, this is from Bella Beauty Bar, and I do have an affiliate affiliated cool with them it's sashi if you guys want to purchase anything from their website actually this is a cola palette but anything else you guys want to buy from bella beauty bar you get to save 10 percent off and it just gives back to me so if you guys decide to use it then thank you guys so much all right but this one is the best matte palette and this is a cola palette with ellie star and Brittany huffman and i've done a review a uh, few tree with Demina cosmetics mystical collection I did six eye looks, so that video was really long because I did like, you know, some kind, some looks were complicated, but uh, I swear guys, that video is pretty fun because of doing all the different eye looks. So this one, ooh, I really love this one. So I rearranged it um, based on how I wanted it to be. So I just got the darker tones here and then mid darker tones here. I just love, like I didn't realize, I thought this was very heavy with the blue and greens only, but you get a variety of, I mean, you do get a lot of like blue and greens, but you actually get a roll of purple, a roll of pink and oranges, and then some red, orange, and yellow, and then some neutral color. I really love the quality on this one. This one, uh, the formula is great. It's very, very beginner friendly. And not only that, this palette is magnetic, so you're able to rearrange. Uh, so other palettes that are also magnetic were Simply Posh, the Lita Cosmetics, and uh, Natasha Denona. Yoka palette. Those are all magnetic. Okay, I forgot to mention that, but this is magnetic, so you're able just to put in your singles in here, rearrange, uh, use it along with your singles. I really love this palette. I really love the formula so much. It's I know it's huge, but I'm very happy with it. Okay, so next up, it's gonna be by an early cosmetics. It's the Don't Be Jelly palette, and this one I really really love this one. Like I love the shimmers. Like, I love the shimmers more than the mattes. But the mattes, they were fine too. So the only thing, the mattes, I'm very limited at what kind of looks I want to create. So I'm going to kind of use this as a companion palette and probably use other mattes to use these shimmers. So I really love the shimmers. Uh, so you get a mix of dual chromes and two multi-chromes. The multi-chromes are so beautiful. They, they almost look like holographic multi-chromes. Like, they're very really sparkly, but they are also shifty too. So, And, oh my gosh, they feel like butter, you guys. Like, these are the multi-chromes. They're both really different. I love them so much. So, I really love this palette. The only thing, I'm just limited with the different color mattes. I love this green matte. But, yeah, these are just very interesting colors. So, you, you come up with a little bit, almost a little bit bold looks. But the shimmers are just so beautiful. Okay. Next up, though, it's another an early cosmetics palette. So, this one it's a cola palette with Heather Austin and it's the Resurgence palette and this one I really love also this so this one ranked a little bit higher because I get more mattes like different color mattes and also like different shimmers but you know it's I wish I could kind of let me see can I mix it oh I think it might be the same size I hope they're the same size so I can mix and match I'm hoping but yeah i do love the shimmers in this one i think maybe i might like the shimmers in this one more but this one you get like a variety of different texture with shimmers you get like sparkly ones opaque shimmers subtle shimmers so it's a mix of dual chromes and then this will supposedly this is a multi-chrome <laughs> yeah this one's like you see the the shift more when the light hits it's like a it's like a different type of multi-chrome that i'm used to and the formula on these shimmers they feel a little bit more dry compared to the Don't Be Jelly. Just a little bit. Not really, but that shade right there, that's my favorite dual crumb from this whole palette creation. It's such a beautiful bluish, it's like a bluish gray. It's a gorgeous shade to so do like a nice glam look. And I love the purple. Oh my gosh. I, I love all these colors, man. I love all these colors. Number four, it's a Nether Bella Beauty Bar palette. It's a smoky glam palette. And I really, really love this one. So all these palettes, the the ones I've been mentioning right now are ones I really, really love. So I love this one. The only thing, it is a little bit big. So I also have the Pastel Garden. And, you know, just like I showed you guys earlier, the Best Matte. That one's pretty big too. I think that one, yeah, the Best Matte palette is actually a little bit bigger than that one. Than this one, I mean. But this, oh, you guys, the shimmers. So it has a lot of dual chromes and one multi-chrome. The multi-chrome is so beautiful. That's my favorite. So the, these shades, oh my gosh, Bella Bar. 
I have a call with them but I love them so so much you guys I love them they're my favorite indie brand and they do really good with their shimmers like they're very shifty and smooth and buttery oh my god it's so so sparkly so the I do love this palette but I may I mostly love this this part from this part to here and a little bit right here but these silvers they were so similar so that's the only thing about this palette I don't like these silvers they're like uh, they're supposed to be, I think, uh, they're metallic. So it's a mix of dual chrome metallic and one multi chrome. So I'm not too big a fan of these metallics. They are too similar. Like the tones are a little bit different, but uh, I wish they could have done better. Or if the greens were a little bit more green. So these are like kind of like green, olive, grayish kind of tones. I don't mind that. It's just I don't really reach for those colors like all the time. It's just once in a while. But the shades, the shimmers, oh, they're the star to show. And the mattes, they're so soft, buttery, easy to work with. Really love that palette. But number three is the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Butterfly Bites palette. So this one, I love this palette. This is like probably one of my top palettes from this year. I have so many top favorites. But this one's so good though. I really enjoy the matte formula. There's a mix of pressed pigment formula and just regular formula. So that could be why I, I was kind of having trouble like figuring out the formula working with the different mats, I guess. So it's just something I have to get used to. I've done better the last two times I played with this again. And you guys, I love this one. It's such a cute palette. I know the size of it. I do have to say it's really, really small. I actually almost forgot to add this to this pile because it's like this. It's smaller than my highlighter palette. So it was uh, kind of like lined up with my highlighter palettes. I have more over there. And it was there and I almost forgot. To, I mean, I did forget until I noticed like an hour later. I'm like, oh, I forgot to add this one. <laughs> so it's really small, but you get a lot of different mattes with this one. And for the price, 54 do I still think it's worth it? Mm, I mean, if you're... I mean, if you're able to afford it and love the color story and you're more familiar with Give Me Glow Cosmetics, like you love their formula, I think you'll love this one. But if it's like your first time, I'm not going to risk telling you guys or recommend this palette. I say try to get this in a sale. I think they recently just had a sale. I'm not sure if it passed already. It might be ongoing. But I'm really tempted to pick up an, another palette in one of their sales or future sales. I'm trying not to buy right now, but yeah i really really love this one the shimmers are so sparkly they're very sparkly opaque oh my gosh and the different mattes i really love this palette really love it okay so now number two though number two can you guys guess it's by glamnik tricks cosmetics into the night palette so you guys i really really love this one this one a lot too so out of all my palettes for that i showed you guys and also Overall, this is the palette I've used the most. I've used this like nine times. And because I had a little project, because I was so inspired, I wanted to do seven looks. And I did it in a post. I showed you guys all the different looks I created, including the YouTube looks too. But And then after that, I, I created two more looks, including the one I have on right now. I only used the mattes. <laughs> so the number one and number two, I combined the palette. So I'm kind of keeping my tradition uh, just like with my other palette ranking videos, I combined the number one and number two palettes just to kind of future the how the palettes look together, I guess. I'm using the mattes in my look in this one. So I really love the greens. The greens are my favorite. I use the green so many times. So these greens, I'm using that green, that green, and also this brown and this. I love the greens so much. So the shimmers, I did not use the shimmers for this look. I used... Um, some other shimmers in the next palette I'm going to be talking about but yeah this one I you guys the color story is just so inspiring it's very you can make it a wearable palette but also like a I guess that's why into the night palette you can also make like a nightclub I don't go out like that like at all I'm just a stay at home mom and just do these YouTube videos for fun but yeah um I was saying I do love doing dramatic looks. I love doing dramatic looks. Even though I just stay at home, it's just like my favorite thing to do. And then also doing colorful looks. So the neons are so good. So you could so you could build this up like a lot. It did fade a little bit from my inner corner, just from my sweating, but you're able to build it up or just have it like very diffused out. And the pink too. So the neons are really good. The quality in the mattes. I think they're really nice. So the darker shades will always be more hard pressed. So meaning that when you put on your eyelid, you always have to buff it out. Like 
pack it and just slowly buff it that's the technique with that i did with darker mattes but then when it comes to the lighter mattes usually they're a lot easier to work with like even even with other brands i'm just saying like in general but the shimmers in this one this is my favorite that's my favorite and i do like that one too so this one's too so i think my probably my least favorite is probably this one i don't use a lot of silvers that's why just like with the smoky glam i don't use those type of silvers a lot but it's nice to have because i could just mix it with the green and blue if i'm just feeling feeling silver like if i'm feeling like 90s or something <laughs> okay but this one's really good i'm really happy to have it and i i did pick up their sugar and spice palette so you guys will see a review on that number one is from electrum cosmetics it's a celestial witch palette and i freaking love this palette so so much so this one was gifted to me so i'm so so grateful it's a mix of multichromes and holochromes so these three our holocons and the rest are multicons and they're so shifty so sparkly so special really love her formula so i'm featuring the the shades the shimmers i have in my eyes i use the shades from this one so i'm using spellcaster as a main on my lid and vespertine that's a holochrome on the second you know on the second half of my lid so you guys can see so pretty shifty and glowy I really love this one like just special shifty sparkles sparkles makes me happy it shifts makes me happy special shimmers in general that's why I got into her brand when she first had a sale that's why her birthday sale and I'm like oh I want to try out her brand so that's where the obsession began <laughs> once I tried out the brand I'm like freaking in love so 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 happy with this one I highly recommend this one I think right now her website's closed but if she ever brings it back, I'm sure she will. I highly recommend this if you're into the special shimmer and also more familiar with like indie brands with the, when it comes to singles. I think you'll really love this. I think you'll really love it if you love the special shimmers like I do. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it. So I hope you guys had fun watching this video. Talk about me talking about all these different palettes. There are so many palettes, so many beautiful palettes and Thank you to all the brands that sent me whichever palettes i mentioned that were sent to me i'm really really grateful very happy to have them and you guys gotta let me know which palettes were your top favorite from the last few months i would love to know that's gonna be it so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before leaving today because i do a lot of indie palette reviews i future them a lot so that's my main thing on my channel i love any brands i love them so much i love the special shimmers i love sparkly shimmers shifty shimmers you name it i love it all you guys i love it all colorful palettes also another thing colorful palettes that's my thing i don't do a lot of neutral palettes it just depends it has to be like special indie brands shifty sparkling it has to be that i won't i won't pick up like a, just a normal neutral palette with lackluster shimmers thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys all so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys